And of course, this is by what they call engineering, advanced robotics lab. And of course, in this lab, we have a whole bunch of robots. Even we have soccer playing robots. You know, we have robotic surgery and we have ophthalmic robots. But we also do have, as you can see, this is a biomedical engineering lab. So we have all these realistic human torsos to perform robotic surgery on and all that. And, and now what we are going to do is to demo you something that we actually we teach. It's called machine learning. So if you want to take a video of that, go ahead. Can I yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We we're just demoing this to show you how it actually can can actually pick up something. No, not the heart. Don't don't close it yet. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Now I can move it. Uh, uh, so if you want to play, uh, teach again, I can start teaching. Yeah. Go ahead, Anis. See if you can do that. Go ahead. Okay. So now it's can you bring it back to the home position? Yeah. Uh, so it, it, now it's uh, recording. If you move. Oh, okay. Now, so it's yeah. recording. Okay. So you see, anything I do, this machine is learning. See, I do that. Just watch these. And then basically move here, and you can touch touch your camera. <laughs> So it's remembering all of that. This we call it machine learning. So I'm just gonna put, and let, let, let go of it. Okay. You can move it to the home position. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> now it's playing. Oh. So it's moving to home. Okay. Now. Okay. So that puts you, you can grab the whole. Yeah. Oh. Okay. See, doing, you remember, was doing all of that. He taught, taught the robot to do all of that. Remember that? So we can teach a robot to actually perform a manufacturing task, make a file out of that, and mass produce. This is a very powerful robot. The reason why we are so close, because we, we, are, we have controlled it. <laughs> it's under our control. <laughs> Because if this robot hits you, it's like a car hitting you. <laughs> That's how heavy and powerful it is. And uh, okay, and we have here, uh, we have here some nose. These are just nose robots. These are actually the world champion in robotic soccer. And and the reason why we are doing that is that we were planning to actually have a kind of a robotic ice hockey. Teach them to play ice hockey. In fact, where are, where are the sticks? Oh, okay. So we are, we are just trying to teach them how to play ice hockey, but, but it is difficult because they have to slide. <laughs> so, <without> the, uh, <coughs> these are the yeah. Uh, okay, can we do the robotic surgery so that we can maybe take a look <clears throat> over there? Oh, uh, are we ready? You see, we do have robotic surgery here. This is kind of like open heart surgery, you know. And these are the end effectors that we use with these robots. You see, these are basically uh, look at the, look at the tip. You see how I can move the tip from here? I can actually open it up. See, see, I can open it up. See how it opens up. So basically, they make incisions incisions in the human body kind of like that and that incision goes through a tiny hole into the body and there are optical fibers here where the doctor can actually see the inside and perform surgery by attaching this to the robot and by, by using these to suture or whatever and uh, these are of course here we are uh, have all kinds of other robots and three-dimensional printing machines and all kinds of robots and over there, all kinds of robots over there. <laughs> you know, and, uh, and oh, there, 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 there is, okay. 
So this one is uh, having it for chi. Where is the song? Oh, it's just doing it for chi. Oh, okay. It's just exercising, right? Yes. This shows how they can maintain their balance. You know, and uh, um, it is not easy <laughs> to maintain the balance. So you know, have this one for you some snake like robot, you some snake like robot. Attack! <laughs> We would also like to talk about this eye surgery robot. You see, we are actually, we had a couple of master's students did that, and we're going to continue with that. You see, uh, the surgical, ro robotic surgery operation on the eye requires a lot of precision, meaning you're, you're into kind of like nanotechnology. So regular eye surgeons can't perform surgery on the fovea or macula or the optical nerves and all that because the resolution needed is in the microns. And our hands resolution is about a quarter inch, two and a half millimeter. We all shake actually. So the robotic sur the, the surgeons can do that. So we need a robotic surgery. And this is the one that we actually de de devised that this actuator moves around, moves in and out, and it's got act actuators to perform on the eye. Okay. Uh, robots, like the way that yeah, yeah, it can have different angles. Yeah, it, has kind of, it, it is kind of in, in the middle of, of we, were, we were repairing it a little bit. So, so this is a very sophisticated robot. No other university in the world has an ophthalmic robot, a robotic surgery for the eye. We are the pioneer in that. In fact, we have actually published papers on it too. So this is a, and, and here is what we call a robotic surgery. Uh, how much time do we have? I think we're almost done. We're almost done, okay. But anyway, here we basically perform open heart surgery by robots, but assuming that you can go through an incision into the body and with optical fibers, sit inside and perform surgery. <laughs> 